Okay, this is my favorite question, I think. Actually, I like each of the questions, but um, I like my answer here. So, um, as you know, Winston Churchill's famous quote, you know, Winston Churchill's famous quote from 70, over 70 years ago, uh, what he said about democracy, he said, many forms of government have been tried and will be tried in this wall of sin and woe. No one pretends that democracy is perfect or all wise. Indeed, it's been said that democracy is the worst form of government, except for all those other forms that have been tried from time to time. So let me leverage Winston Churchill's famous quote on democracy and respond to your question yeah. by saying various political and economic systems have been tried, including capitalism, communism, and socialism. No one pretends that capitalism is perfect or all wise. Indeed, some people may feel that capitalism is the worst system, except for all those other forms that have been tried before. In recent times, uh, there's been what I consider a shift to the center and away from ideological views, uh, or maybe I should say shift to more pragmatic views rather than ideological views on the left or the right. And, uh, and I think, an example that is present before us is uh, the one, uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, response. Uh, I think there's greater interest in more pragmatic approaches that are responsive uh, to the needs of the day. Uh, my view is that we must make more visible progress in respect of a fairer and more equitable capitalism that works for all, especially the poorer and the weaker citizens of the world. I do believe uh, that we ha have one human race, one race, the human race. I believe that no one benefits when anyone is in distress. So if we don't have capitalism that works for all and addresses all the various forms of inequalities, we will neither have prosperous citizens nor have a safe and peaceful planet. Indeed, everyone will lose when there's a real opportunity for everyone uh, to gain. We see signs of this everywhere, social discontent in advanced nations, in poor countries. The reason in my view for this is insufficient attention on building an economic system that works for all within nations and across nations. I do believe that if we're serious about leveraging economics, leveraging capitalism to address societal ills, we must think about reshaping those two concepts so that they address the concepts they address the issues of our time. Thank you.